Uh, <coughs> good afternoon. Well, I presume you've received this in the afternoon. It's Tuesday morning, Tuesday the 7th. Um, rather than me sitting in, you're looking at me doing um, this week's sort of vloggy type newsletter, I thought I would take you all for a quick ride around the golf course. Now, some of you will be missing it, but I'm going to come to that in a second or two. Um, I hope you're all staying safe and I hope you enjoy this as something a little bit different. Please bear with me. I'm sat on a buggy. It will be a bit bumpy at times. I'm trying to hold on to my camera at the same time. It's not going to be easy, but let's. Let's set off. I hope you enjoy. Another beautiful day. It's a shame, uh, obviously, the golfers can't be out here playing. Because the weather is, well, it's been superb pretty well since the lockdown, hasn't it? Which is uh, a little bit disappointing, but are we going up the first? Um, really disappointed yesterday um, to have to go up to the uh, water tower. As we had two golfers on the golf course playing. Uh, one was a member, one was a non member. They're both. Um, well, the member left fairly uh, rapidly, the non-member um, I had a bit of a problem with. Um, please be aware the course is shut, I mean there's no flags out, there's no team markers, there's absolutely nothing. I don't know why anybody thinks, and there's signs up everywhere saying it's shut, I don't know why people think they can come and play. It's, you know, just follow government guidelines. You know, I'm desperate to play. You know, yes, I'm lucky that I can come out here and have a wander, but I'm absolutely desperate to play golf like I'm sure everybody is. But it's every single golf course in Europe is shut. It's not just here. So please abide by those um, rules. And I, you know, I, I don't want to have to um, come out and kick people off the golf course. But anyway, that's the start to the newsletter. Let's try and cheer things up just a little bit from there. So yeah, what a beautiful day. Um, sun's out. It's quite warm. I'm actually, yes, I'm on a buggy. I'm, I'm in a t-shirt as I'm. Uh, as I'm doing this, which is great. Of course, the few times I've uh, managed to come out, the course is looking great. It, uh, and it'd be fantastic to, uh, obviously, if we could be playing. But hey ho. Um, subscriptions, um, many thanks to all those that have paid so far, which is the vast majority, which is great. Those that are struggling, maybe out of work or struggling financially with the current uh, situations. Uh, can you please contact the office? Don't just talk between yourselves in groups. I know that's what's happening with some people. Um, please contact the office so we know what is actually going on with them, um, with various different members. Um, best way is by emailing us at office at hauntedgolfclub.co.uk, and then um, we can sort of uh, get back and uh, respond to uh, those that are struggling. Moving on, um, a few people have been in contact with me. I mean, yes, we are in regular contact with the directors. The directors are working. Uh, it's a bit bumpy. You might be struggling to hear my voice. Uh, the directors are working very, very hard, cutting all costs where possible, and uh, trying to make the you know as, as cost effective as we can be at this present moment in time to make sure the club actually uh, you know can survive. Lots of golf clubs are going to be struggling during uh, during this. Period and lots of clubs actually, you know, it's funny, isn't it? And we changed the uh, subscription renewal to the 1st of April a number of years ago. And you know, maybe if, maybe if it had been left as uh, January, everybody would have paid anyway. But it, uh, but yeah, but you know, we want we want to get you all out here golfing as quickly as we possibly can, and as soon as the um, restrictions are, uh, you know, changed. Let me just try and swap hands. Hopefully, you can see that's on the front of the buggy now. I've put the screen down. Um, who'd have thought? I'm going to put a picture on later. Who'd have thought that this year's uh, gents' captain, Ross Megginson, had his captain's driving when he was all fully kitted up in his sort of work gear in full protective uh, clothing? As you know, this is what Ross does. He's does amazing. Uh, his amazing cleaning company. In fact, let me just disappear over this way again. Let's go back inside because he's actually, uh, since I'm over here, I can show you his take sponsorship sign. Which is as you walk through to the third. But yeah, Ross uh, is a busy man at the moment. As is, uh, hopefully, if you can read it. T sponsorship board, Castium specialises in uh, cleaning uh, at hospitals and making sure everything's uh, 
really really clean so who would have thought that on new year's day when we got him dressed up in his full protective clothing gear including face mask that would be his normal day-to-day -day sort of uh, job at the moment so anyway we're back coming down the third let me go a little bit quicker or else people will be turning this off I would have thought but hey how um, what else have I got on here to sort of um, I've got my little notes in front of me um, a bit of a strange one and not that uh, some of you might know them I don't know but it um, can I just uh, wish both my sisters a happy birthday for uh, this past week um, those that don't know, I've got um, twin sisters, uh, Christine and Pamela. Happy birthday to you both. Christine, um, it, it's quite an interesting one, actually. I've got twin sisters, but they were actually born on different days, which, believe me, was a big shock for my dad, I hear. Um, <laughs> having uh, left, left the hospital when Christine had been born, to go back the next day, and there was two of them there, because Pam was there as well. But it, uh, I hope you've managed to have a uh, reasonable day, in the, uh, or reasonable days, in the... Uh, in the sort of uh, current climate that we're in, but yeah, happy birthday to my big sisters. Isn't it beautiful out here? It really is. But, uh, green stuff for, um, they are still working, just doing sort of basic maintenance in sort of uh, split shifts and things. Not working, um, not working together. One of the jobs we're actually doing today is actually barricading the um, car park up at the uh, water tower just to try and stop people sneaking up. Yeah, wider, wider people. Anyway, I don't want to go on about that. Um, <coughs> so, how many of you are actually practicing at home? I presume some of you will be. Uh, I'll have your clubs out and be trying to do a little bit. I've certainly made a little net at home. I live right next door to the golf course and I'm not coming out here playing. I've made a little net at home, I'm working on a few things. I'm absolutely loving, and I mentioned it last week, I'm loving the Padre Harrington videos on Twitter and Instagram and things. Absolutely superb. Some of these tips and thoughts are brilliant. For those that haven't watched it, please do so. There's some fantastic little things he's uh, he's doing on there and all that you're working on all aspects of the game and I've certainly um, you know some, something I've I've never made a real long backswing you know, I've always just put it down to sort of getting older and, and different things and, but really interesting something that um, I'm certainly doing differently now and it's definitely making a difference is how I turn my shoulders in my backswing um, and it, I, I've certainly I've, I've I'm taking the club back about 10 degrees further now, which is giving me a little bit more club head speed. Which is all good news, isn't it? Because then we'll get the golf ball going a little bit further. The, uh, I am also at the same time now <laughs> doing another little exercise, which I'll put a different video on later. Yeah, it's going to be a bit bumpy as I go down here, so just bear with me for a second. So through onto the through onto the fifth. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, I've been doing a bit of a crazy exercise. Really. It's like a real good workout though. But it uh, yeah, if we hit the middle of the golf club, we'll you know you should hit the golf ball that little bit further if you, you know, time it nicely and do that. I think we all know though that you know those people that we've played golf with, all those that hit the golf ball harder, as long as they hit the middle of the golf club, definitely generate you know more club head speed, and the ball goes further. So I'm doing a little exercise just to try and help me increase my club head speed. All you need is a driver and a 5 or a 6 iron. I'll do the little exercises, I'm going to do another little video later on this newsletter, but if you've got your clubs at home, just a couple of minutes a day, by the time we're back golfing, I guarantee you, you will be hitting the golf ball further, which I know is something that everybody wants to do. You do have to be quite aggressive when you're doing this exercise, and it is hard work. Um, certainly by the time I've finished doing it, I am completely out of breath. It, uh, 
but it's it's great and it's certainly it is certainly making a difference to uh, to the amount of clubhead speed I'm generating. I've with a six iron I've increased my clubhead speed by about ten mile an hour now, which is a lot, an awful lot. So and that in turn should make quite a big difference to how far the golf ball is actually going. Man. Anyway, sixth hole, everybody's favourite hole. What a golf hole this is. It's got to be one of the hardest par fours in Yorkshire. My favourite spot is that gorse up the left hand side of the tee. The amount of times I'm in there is ridiculous. I must admit it's where I'm aiming off the tee and I'm always trying to hit a little bit of fade away from it to bring the ball back to the fairway. But the amount of times I do that and just hit it dead straight and end up in the gorse it is a little frustrating, certainly if I've got a card in my hand, playing a competition, I don't hit driver, I'd hit a three wood so I don't actually reach it. Just a little bit of course management, just sort of thinking about that. Because uh, a three wood would bring me, normally, there's like a little ridge here where the, those that have been members for years, there used to be a bunker here, fantastic bunker, one of the best bunkers on the golf course that used to be here. But when I hit three wood it sort of brings me to about this point here. And that leaves me, again, it's either another, depending on where the wind is, either another wood or rescue club to the green. And it, uh, the towel looked beautiful today with the, uh, with the sun shining on it. But yeah, but what a, what a hole. That's it. certainly, uh, certainly if I make four down here, I'm always very, very happy. I'm not, I'm not too disappointed if I make a five, to be honest. And it, um, which obviously, you know, I shouldn't be doing. I'm just going to swap hands as soon as my arm's starting to wake. It, um, but yeah, great hole. But uh, so, what else can we talk about? Oh, I tell you what. So, thanks to all those that um, sent emails in and sent me messages about last week's newsletter. Obviously, it's a bit of a, it's a bit different for me to. Uh, to do the newsletter the way it's been done with me doing it all rather than me just sort of sending uh, stuff in yeah the, the cow park is now barricaded off at the top of the, uh, the top there hopefully that should uh, stop some people trying to uh, trying to get in now yeah where was I I completely forgot what I was talking about um, so yeah, the newsletter and different, a different way of doing it. Obviously, with me um, sort of doing doing everything now and doing all the content, rather than me just sending it in to foremost and them doing it, which it does take quite a while to do it. Which is one of the reasons why I'm doing a video like this. But yeah, the feedback I got last week from people was absolutely fantastic, and that's really nice, and I appreciate that. What you probably don't realise is the amount of off-takes I had to do to actually produce that newsletter. Um, I did in the end, it was just, um, let me get off this path. It was in the end done just on, um, on one take, which I know was about 10 minutes, so that's sat in my garden talking to you. But trust me, I tried to record that about 30 times. You probably noticed even today as I'm doing this, I do have a tendency to say, um, when I get stuck and I have a few pauses. It's really quite difficult. If, you, if you're easily offended by language and things, don't watch it, but it, um, but maybe for a bit of a laugh and a bit of a giggle, I've put a quick sort of uh, video together of all the off-takes um, from last week, which I'll put at the end of uh, this newsletter. There was an um again there for you. But I say, it, it was so frustrating doing that newsletter, or doing that vlog, but quite funny and I'm sure you'll find the uh, some of the off-takes quite entertaining. So here we are, eighth hole, look at the gorse, absolutely beautiful, all in flower and it smells stunning. She coming down here, really does smell absolutely beautiful. Oh, there's one as well, the old flood that was at the side of the eighth and across into the field. At last it's dried up. So, anyway, I'd love to know um, what you've all been, uh, what you're all up to. Are any of you sort of working in your golf at all? I mean, I give you all a bit of a, 
a challenge last week. We're having a little exercise to do um, chipping uh, through rungs on a ladder. It's great to see. I've had a, not lots, but a few people have uh, sent me videos in. Uh, two cracking ones from the um, from two of the Anderson boys, which again I'll put uh, I'll put their videos at the end of uh, this newsletter. How good is that looking down there? I'm sorry, those that obviously can't get out and enjoy things like this at the moment, but hopefully this is uh, giving you a little bit of uh, an insight into a bit of fresh air and. Uh, how beautiful everything is. Ninth hole. I was going to go all the way around, but again, how long I'm trying to think how long I've been talking here. I might just do the front nine. Probably just do the front nine today as I'm running out of uh, things to say. And I'll do the back nine next week. So it's something a little bit different. But yeah, I hope you're all um, keeping well. Uh, I haven't been, uh, other than coming out onto the golf course, I haven't been anywhere at all, I mean, shopping or anything, as we, uh, Yvonne went last Wednesday and got quite a uh, few bits in, so we're really trying to uh, stay inside and not go anywhere at all, massive thanks to all the local uh, companies that are doing deliveries as well, something that um, we really appreciate, being able to get veg and groceries and different bits and bobs delivered to home. But yeah, I think I'll I think I'll call this a day for now. We'll do the um, we'll do the back nine for you uh, next week. Hopefully the sun will be shining like this. I hope you enjoy the rest of the uh, this week's newsletter. And I've said it before, but please stay safe, everybody. And uh, we'll uh, speak to you all again. Sorry, I've got myself all tied up. And we'll speak to you all again next week.